Hello and welcome to Thought for July the 20th. Our readings are 2 Samuel chapters 4 and 5, Jeremiah chapter 10, and Matthew chapter 21. And our thought is, Behold, your king is coming to you. Matthew in his gospel is more prolific than the other gospel writers in quoting the Old Testament prophecies that Jesus fulfilled. Today we have in his 21st chapter the account of the triumphant entry of Jesus into Jerusalem, verses 4 through to 11. Matthew writes, This took place to fulfill what was spoken by the prophet, saying, Behold, your king is coming to you, mounted on a donkey. And the crowds that went before him and that followed him were shouting, Hosanna to the son of David! Hosanna in the highest! And when he entered Jerusalem, the whole city was stirred up. The prophet whom God caused to predict this was Zechariah, chapter 9, verse 9. And we are prompted to think of his and those of other prophets who were caused to write of the incredible dramas at the time of his second coming. We also see the remarkable prophecies the disciples were later to make as recorded in the book of Acts, chapter 3, verses 20 and 21, and in their letters about his second coming. The scene will be truly awesome when true believers will be saying something like, Behold, our King is coming in great glory. But just as awesome, overwhelmingly so, will be his great power to bring vengeance on those who deny him, being totally blind to their being a creator with a plan and purpose, for his creation. When we come to Matthew 24, we will see how Jesus himself predicted his return, a time when conditions on earth will be as they were in the days of Noah. So will be the coming of the Son of Man. For as in those days before the flood they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day Noah entered into the ark, and they were unaware until so will be the coming of the Son of Man, we read in verses 37 through to 39. There is nothing wrong with eating and drinking. It is essential. But Jesus is summing up human pleasures in life at that time. Their main aim in living with no thought of God being the same as in the days of Noah. Let us make sure we are not unaware, but are ready to respond when we hear the words, Behold, your king is coming to you. Well, thank you once again for being with us today as we open up the pages of God's word, knowing that word to be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.